Hello, this is Robbie Frank, and in this video, we're going to talk about accountability, holding yourself accountable, and making the things you said will happen, happen. I'm recording this, as you might see from my expression, my energy, after a full night of work, uh, basically working from 6 a.m. till 8 p.m., and then taking like a three-hour break, and then from 11 p.m., till now, which we're talking about 7 a.m. right now. So pretty much 23, 22 hours of working straight. Why did I do that? Because I promised myself that I will, because I wanted to finish some projects and it was a bitch. It was so bad. I found myself like nudging off a couple of times, but I got what I wanted done. So. I pushed through regardless of the difficulty, regardless of it being uncomfortable. And this actually comes right after me being in a friend's birthday. Uh, I didn't want to go. I don't go to birthdays. I don't go to socialize. I only spend time with my wife, working out, or on my business. And I went to the party and it reminded me why I don't go to socialize. Everybody there, even though everyone's in self, doing self-development in that group, Everybody there didn't have a clear purpose, didn't have uh, that grit, that drive to work. Um, none of them actually pushed their goals forward, just sat down, talked about bullshit. And that's most people. If you want to be different, if you want to be special, if you want to get the special things in life, you have to work at them right now. Not in the future, not doing things that might get you there maybe eventually, but doing things that right now tangibly move you forward. If your goal is to make more money, set a goal to make more money tomorrow. Don't set a organization goal where you sit down and, and start organizing and thinking and strategizing. If your goal is to make more money, set a target for the amount of money you wanna to make tomorrow and hit that target. Do whatever it takes in terms of getting attention, in terms of making offers, in terms of asking for money in order to get your target. There is nothing more important than that. And really, this is the biggest difference that I see between people who are successful and people who dabble. I'm not even talking about the regular people, the normal people who spend a life of quiet desperation. I'm talking about the people who are in self-development, who are reading books, who are pretending, pretending to move forward in life. The difference between them and the successful people, the ones that really make things happen, is that successful people don't congregate. They don't talk to each other at parties. They don't go do that because they're working. That's why you don't see them at your parties. They're working, they're pushing their dreams forward and they have very specific targets that they will reach no matter what, no matter what the cost is. And this is the main difference between dabblers and successful people is that people who are successful set targets and hit them. They don't just dabble. They don't say, oh, it's about the journey. I'm just kind of finding myself. They set a target, they hit the target. They do whatever it takes. And if you're not willing to do whatever it takes right now, that's okay, but realize that you're dabbling. You're not making the soup. You're not building the, the, uh, the formula for success. You're not making a recipe that will eventually turn into success. You're simply not engaging in success. Success is very much like war. You set a destination, you go out, you march forward with your troops, and you conquer that destination. It's not about enjoying it. It's not about having fun. It's about getting to the destination that you've set. Once you get to the destination, that's when you can have fun, but only once you actually reached your target. So start being goal-oriented in your life. Start being target-oriented. Do whatever it takes to hit your targets. That is the main first key ingredient to actually moving forward in life and not just dabbling. And secondly, if you set a commitment, if you decided you're going to do something, do it even if it sucks. Do it because it sucks, because that is what will make you a stronger person. That will, is what will make you a more dependable person, not where other, others can depend on you, where you can depend on yourself. And that's how you start moving yourself forward in life. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.